Playing things cleanly with lots and lots of gain on is a difficult thing to do. In this lesson I'm going to show you how you can clean up your playing so that what I just played doesn't sound like this. <laughs> Getting rid of unwanted background noise is the absolute key to tidying up your playing. And there is one rule to help you do this. For every single individual note that you play, there are five other strings that are going to start vibrating. So it's up to you to stop those strings from doing that. And that comes from a combination of unused fingers on this hand, and your thumb, and the palm of this hand. The rule that I follow, and that I teach all my students, is this one. For any note that you're playing, any thinner strings, so higher notes, are muted with your fretting hand, and any lower notes are muted either with your thumb or the palm of your picking hand. For example, if I'm playing this note, turn the gain up a little bit to get rid of that background noise. If I'm playing the note with my middle finger, this does vary depending on what you're playing and what the context is. But if you're playing with your middle finger, I generally get my first finger on to mute those three strings. So you're picking that note. They're muted, so when you stop the note, you don't hear those. And then any thicker strings from what you're playing, either with your thumb, generally the best way of killing that bottom note, or the palm of your hand, I either use uh, that bit or the back of my hand, depending on how I'm picking things. This might be different for you, depending on how you hold your pick and where your hand comes in. But rest that just near your bridge on the thicker strings. So to recap, anything thinner, any higher notes, mute with this hand. Any thicker notes, thicker notes, thicker strings, any lower notes, mute with this hand. So when you're playing a note, you see what I've got. I've got that finger playing the note, this one resting on those two, and then the palm of my hand on these three strings. This works perfectly for me and has worked for many, many of my pupils as well. This might not work for you exactly how I'm doing it, but the general rule is the same. You want to kill your thinner strings and your thicker strings using this hand and this hand. Good thing to practice with this is if you know a pentatonic scale, try and get that scale sorted because it progresses across all the strings, starting with this bottom string. This finger's doing all the muting. So I can pick those two notes and not have to worry about all of that noise. And as you progress across the strings, you notice this hand's taking over and muting the bottom strings, and this one's still crawling up, muting the top ones. So. so we don't get the whole. It just tidies things up. Particularly if you're playing with a lot of gain, if I turn the gain all the way up, every little movement makes a big old noise. So you have to be extra careful with that. To make sure you're muting all those notes. So there are many, many different uses and ways of applying this, uh, depending on what you're playing. Um, for example, power chords and octave chords are two of the most common things uh, to be played on the guitar in general, really. So to get that sounding nice and clean, we want to apply the same logic. Most of these are going to be on your bottom two strings, so almost all of the muting is done with your first finger. What I actually do with power chords is I use the tip of my finger to mute the bottom string, play the note I need to play, and then use the back end of my finger to mute those notes. Octave chords, you have the same thing.
Same deal with that one. All the muting is done with this hand, because all the notes, except for this bottom one, which you can do with the tip of your finger, are higher than that root note. This finger does all the muting for that one. Um, and even down to major chords, just your basic open chord shapes. If you're playing a C major, one note we definitely don't want in that C major is this low E. So instead of reining in your picking hand and not hitting all the strings, just hit all your strings with your pick and then let your thumb mute that note. So there we have it. Take everything that you already know how to play and try and really think about muting everything you're not playing while you're trying to play those things. Hope this has helped some of you out. I know I've had a few people tell me that they struggle with all the noise and things, particularly with tapping. That's another one. Exactly the same thing applies. When you're tapping, get that hand there and get that finger on there. Same deal. So yeah, that is the one rule to follow to help tidy up your playing. Muting. <laughs>